you know, sometimes I am quite, 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 I don't know, what's the word? Perturbed? No. But sometimes I really wonder if Barbadians love abuse. And I'm not talking today about domestic abuse or anything like that. But I'm talking about the sort of verbal garbage that comes out of the mouths of some of our so-called leaders who speak about things with such authority, yet when they're doing the things, they, or not doing the things, just floundering. Garbage in Barbados. Politicians speaking garbage. Other people speaking garbage. Everybody speaking garbage. Yet, nothing's being done. Obviously, because they're speaking garbage. The garbage doesn't belong to the government. It belongs to the people. The people must pay, pay, pay their part. Their part. That's the only way we're going to get rid of this garbage crisis. Government, opposition, everybody has their say. No one wants to take responsibility. The people obviously took responsibility when they elected you to the parliament in the first place, put you in charge to make decisions, make them. Do we need a garbage tax? Or do we need to recycle? Do we need to upcycle? Do we need to have awareness campaigns. They really don't like the whole education thing. It sounds like you're brainwashing people. We need to educate people. So what do you need to do? To change your minds, right? You see, this word education starts to get very weird when you start to talk about you need to educate people. But we need awareness campaigns. Zika is on the prowl, people. Whether you think the, the, the mosquitoes are genetically modified or not to give you a certain virus, Zika is on the prowl. What are we going to do? We don't have time to sit down and discuss things that we've been discussing for years already. Get on with the job. It's ridiculous. So-called leaders. Sometimes you ask yourself, what are the academics doing? Sometimes you ask yourself, what are the trade union leaders doing? Politicians doing? Teachers doing? But you know what? The teachers are actually teaching, for the most part. The academics are... Okay writing or not they're teaching what are the politicians doing especially they're the ones who are elected to do a job they're the ones who are elected to lead so let's see some leadership and if you don't want to lead leave of course you're not going to do that because the ego tells you that you can't do that you must stay stay it out until you're put out but then what are the voters doing what are you doing what are you doing? Whether you vote, I'm not talking about the administration of the government, I'm talking about the entire, I'm talking about the legislature. You vote, you don't vote. Some people don't vote because that's the way they say, that's how I'm going to vote, by not voting, by showing my displeasure with the system. Then people get in, you don't like those people, you vote for another, other people voted for another person, that person got in, don't like that person, you have opposition that seems like it's just going to fight them internally all the damn time. You have a government that seems it's going to talk about the opposition all the time. And no one is doing anything. Yet garbage is piling up. You have proactive people in the private sector. Some of them trying to do something. Some of them being proactive in negative ways. Dumping where they shouldn't be dumping. No enforcement of laws. Let's get on with it. Let's get on with the job of governing. Governing ourselves, governing the people, let's do our jobs, let's be the best we can be. Let's do these things. Easier said than done? No. This is actually one thing that's quite easy because in the Caribbean we don't even have gov uh, cabinet government. For the most part we have, technically okay, we have cabinet government. Yes, the cabinet appoints a prime minister. But once you have a prime minister in the Caribbean, you have prime ministerial government. You have a prime minister. When the prime minister says go go, of course we know that our prime minister doesn't say go go, and that's fine. Let him choose his own leadership style. When the people put pressure on whoever it is, no, no matter what the leadership style is, things get done. When you don't put pressure on thing on people, things won't get done. The difference between Barbados, any Caribbean country, any Latin American country, anywhere else. Any, any country will always be the activity of the people. The people at the end of the day 
are the only ones who make and break the system. A system is not a person. A system is a, an, a, let me say it very clearly. The system is not a person. It is a collection of people, networks, organizations, and microsystems working together to make sure that we live and prosper. If we want to exist, live and prosper, we have to make sure that we get certain things right. We can exist on our own. We can live to a certain extent on our own, but we cannot really prosper on our own. We need each other. We can prosper a little bit, but not much. The QEH needs addressing. Healthcare in Barbados on a whole needs addressing. By QEH, I mean Queen Elizabeth Hospital. Healthcare needs addressing. You know one thing that really annoys me is the fact that Carrie Calm members, the I mean non-Barbadian Caribbean people in CARICOM, for those who don't understand, but they, if they're living in Barbados, contributing, paying taxes in Barbados, still pay a higher rate at the hospital. No, 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 no. They pay income tax. They pay the VAT like everybody else. They pay all the other road tax and what's not. No, they should be getting the same rate. That's fair is fair. They're contributing equally above and beyond at schools. When they have children in schools, still having to pay fees that Barbados don't pay, they're contributing equally. They have their income tax, unless that has changed by the way. So I speak under correction, they have their income tax. They have their road tax, they have their VAT, they have their land tax. They're paying, they're going to be paying the environmental levy like everybody else. Wrong is wrong. That is wrong. When you subject people to, this, to the laws of your system, apply the law equally and laws that are unequal are not laws to be kept. These things need to be changed. When we're talking about garbage, we have garbage in our laws that need to be changed. I don't like using the word archaic because something old does not mean it's antiquated. But what we have are systems in place, people in place, legislation in place, thoughts in place, ideas in place, actions in place that need to go. But these things will only move. These things will only move when the people themselves move to make them move. That is it. The people at the end of the day. I've said it in my articles before and I'm saying it now. The people have to make other people move. Those you put in charge, you are in charge of them. Make them move. Make them do what they're supposed to do. If you do not make them, and it does not mean they have to go there and march, it does not mean they have to go out of a revolution. You have your vote, you have your mass mobilization, you have your letters, you have your money, you know what you can do. You have your bank accounts, you know what you can do. You have your businesses, and you have your mouths, you have your radio programs. The aggregation of those things, power, pressure, and you have your feet, you have your hands, you have your, and you have your, your entire, entire network of those you know. You have me. I am doing something here now. I am part of it. No internet activism, just like that is going to make anything move. There needs to be more of it. There needs to be more of everything. There needs to be more activism, physically, digitally. There needs to be more written word. It still works today. There needs to be more oratory skills put out there to be saying, hey, I'm speaking to you, this is a new voice. There needs to be music, dance, movies and drama and TV shows that change our minds. Give us competing ideas as well. Not just my idea, not just the ideas of William Chandler, but the ideas of all. That's what we need. That's what any country needs in order for it to progress if it is that you want to live in this thing called a democracy. But until next time, you know what, just Facebook, we have Tumblr, website, realtalk.bb, I am on Instagram at the World Coach. See you soon. Oh yeah, like, share, and subscribe. Bye.